Hi, it's John. Now this is uh, Dean Court Farm, uh, taken in June 1978. Now this is actually the dairy. Now, it's a terrible picture, I know. But uh, this part here is the door for the milk stand. The milk stand was there. This part here was the old dairy where they had the, um, the old uh, steam washing machines and caustic washing machines to wash all the milk and equipment. And in here was the pump, the uh, vacuum pump that's in there, which has to have a little bit of oil in every day, and periodically the belt used to break, and when it broke, it had to be repaired to do the milking. Asbestos roof is the old hay Dutch barn over here, right up by the Botley Road. And uh, these um, willow, willow trees that we periodically have to be pollarded. This is an open yard um, which we used to bed up for some strange reason. And these uh, milking cow, rough old suckler milking cows on that and we had a sort of trough along there there's a stone wall here that uh, it used to normally use that area as a dung yard and then pollarded willows here that periodically had to be pollarded gate here into a meadow i think that meadow was called long meadow and big elm tree there that's dead waiting to be felled and here's the new engine bypass that went straight to the farm there This is an Anderson shelter that we, <laughs> I can't remember quite how we rebuilt it, but it, it wasn't, obviously wasn't there, I mean that's not going to protect you from any bombs is it, that we used it for keeping a few calves in, I can't remember much about it, but you can see wing nut up here, and it was on this area of hard standing, that's the sort of farming we were doing. So this is that walled area again here, where we used to have a dung heap there, yard scrapings, or sometimes we used to have a uh, sort of bedded down area, and we used to feed these cattle, they used to be fed on barley straw, they didn't do very well. <laughs> um, this piece here was a piece of wetland, and it was like a, I don't know, a quarter of an acre or something like that, and we and used to be a big dung heap out here. And there was a track along here with a caravan just there, uh, which is used for various things. Um, a bit of farm machinery, looks like, um, oh yeah, roll, uh, Cambridge rollers, three parts, harrows, zigzag harrows and plough. Never saw a plough in action. And then there was a track down here that went up there. There was an oak tree in that field. I can't remember what this field was called. And then the, the fence used to go round, and then up here there was a water trough that used to uh, be fed by a spring, which was good. Uh, two, or two big elm trees there. Electric fence. Now this is. Um, the, uh, we used to call this sh shed the, um, the Atkost Barn, I think. It was either called the Atkost Barn or the Crendon Barn. I can't remember, but it, it, it was called, it was either made by Atkost or Long Crendon, Crendon Concrete. Um, I can't quite remember. This was our main barn, Three Bay Dutch Barn, uh, which was, uh, pretty good. Uh, these trees blew down in the gales in, was it 1978, and broke it, oh maybe maybe it broke it here, maybe that bit's been replaced, it had to be, some had to be replaced, is the uh, pump house for the um, milking machine just there, and these had an outside yard, and one of my jobs was to fill these racks up, first thing in the morning, fill these racks up with hay, um, and you can see we had hay in the barn here, and that, uh, 
that was always a pain to get that straight on the front there because the bales were always so squashy that they would come out. You'd get, get piling them up and the, and the bales would sort of squash out. And um, of course the farmer didn't like it very much. But there's nothing much you could do because there was such, um, it was also, everything was so poor. This is a picture of the elevator, um, taken obviously from the top of the hayrick. Um, the tractor is a, a Massey Ferguson 35X. That's uh, my boss's um, gabardine, or well, his raincoat in, on there. That's the remains of a cab that it used to have in a previous life. So it was, this was a 35X, not just a 35, 35X. That yeah, was our best tractor. And uh, Briggs and Stratton motor, which was a real pain. It was terrible to get that going. Um, and this was terrible as well because all these slats were run out, uh, worn out. So everything was terrible about this farm. <laughs> so here's the. Um, here's the. Uh, tractor, obviously in the winter taking hay out, or in the autumn taking hay out to the cattle. Um, I've got a couple of bales wedged on the back there, and sack on the seat, number plate tied on with string, at least that number plate, you normally have to do those with, um, do the paint those on, be reg as well. Now, after a period of time, the old tractor we had died, and the loader had to come on to the 35X. Um, as you can see, this trailer has had a bit of an accident. <laughs> this was our best trailer. It was a low-loading trailer. It was quite a nice trailer, actually, but we obviously, um, something had gone wrong there, and the... Uh, it got a bit lopsided, so we had that one, that one loaded up. I'm not sure whether that's hay or straw. It looks a bit like straw. I'm not sure. Barns full of hay. Look, there's another trailer there full of hay. This is all along the side of the ancient road. These elm trees, and there was a ditch there that was used to get from the slurry. So there are both the tractors in all their glory. That's the um, the 35X, and this is the 35, which never had a bonnet. So the radiator always kept getting leaks because we used to used to be, you know, you ram it into a trailer or the radiator would get busted up. These tines were always getting bent because we didn't have proper yards. It was only rubble yards, and they used to pitch into the rubble and then bend. So you had to tie the tine to another tine to stop it digging in. That's obviously um, before haymaking because the Dutch barn is empty and the uh, two tractors are, are in the Dutch barn there. Now this is the sort of thing that used to make my, make my day, finding a hedgehog. There was a hedgehog on the dung heap. And uh, on our dung heap, we always used to get masses of this weed. And it used to grow up really tall. 